Hi, I'm Merlin Berg, the producer of the Veterans Benefits Vlog. I'm a Vietnam Blue Water veteran. Today's Veterans Benefits Vlog targets the most veterans, spouses, and families get for their full range of veterans benefits. No guarantees, but I can point you in the right direction to the type of veterans benefits you need. There's more than you may think. Today's video vlog is about the needs for VA True Transparency on July 25, 2019, Chairman Takano of the U.S. Congress House of Representatives. Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman Mark Takano stated, We simply cannot put veterans' lives at risk while they wait for care. Today, the House Committee on Veterans Affairs Chairman Mark Takano, California District 41, delivered the opening remarks before the full House Veterans Affairs Committee oversight hearing entitled True Transparency Addressing Wait Times. Five years after Phoenix secret wait list. This is happening on the fifth anniversary of a House VA hearing on the Phoenix VA wait time scandal. Below you will hear the veteran's opening statements and his remarks as prepared and I will share with those remarks with you now. He stated that this year marks the fifth anniversary of a watershed moment the VA and the House of Veterans Affairs Committee 2014 VA wait time scandal. Remember the whistleblowers from the VA health care system several years ago. He stated they brought to the public attention an elaborate scheme by supervisors and senior leaders to conceal the number of times veterans were waiting to receive their health care. Some of the patients' conditions deteriorated while others' veterans died after waiting long for VA appointments. After months of hearings and independent investigations, Congress realized the serious appointment scheduling inter delays. Veterans access to quality care was not limited to Phoenix. The situation was occurring nationwide at VA facilities. Unfortunately, this had been going on for years. To address this, Congress passed the Veterans Program in August 2014. Intending to help veterans across more timely health care by sending them to local community service providers. Five years after today, July 24th, the House Veterans Affairs held a hearing. VA then acting secretary Sloan also included for leaders from several veteran service organizations, Congress, and the American people. They learned how the VA planned to restore the trust of veterans. In this statement for that hearing, Mr. Gibson presented a stark but honest assessment of VA's challenges. Three of the main problems he identified are first, agency-wide scheduling inappropriateties, second, inadequate computer resources, and third, a VA culture of fear and retaliation. Chairman Takano stated honestly after reviewing our witnesses' written testimonies, several articles appeared recently in the national media. The congressman was alarmed that much of what Acting Secretary Gibson observed five years ago still rings true today. This situation is unacceptable. We cannot put veterans' lives at risk while they wait for care. Today, it is time to assess the VA's progress in earning back the trust of veterans, Congress, and the American people. Within the last couple of months, several media outlets published articles where whistleblowers allege that the VA is still keeping 
secret waiting lists. These waiting lists come as a surprise. Chairman Takano noted, our community staff also have been approached by several whistleblowers with the allegations and some have faced retaliation after raising their concern with the VA. They allege that the VA has mass canceled pending requests for certain types of care without sufficient clinical review and that frontline employees have been ordered to schedule veterans patients in imaginary clinics as a means of concealing wait times. Some of these whistleblowers recently testified before our committee. Based on congressional hearing, VA's Office of Accountability and Whistleblowers Protection is fa failing to protect whistleblowers. We rely on whistleblowers to speak truth to power and hold the VA accountable. The VA must do its job and immediately end the toxic culture of retaliation at VA. Dr. Boyd, you can claim in your written statements that no veterans were harmed as a result of being on wait lists like those mentioned in the news. You can also state that the VA are operating with unprecedented transparency. Those are two very bold statements. With the Mission Act, more and more veterans will be eligible for community care. However, as you will hear from some of our witnesses today, veterans wait time for community care. There is equivalent to a wait time in the community are often longer. Huh. VA's data on wait times for appointments at VA facilities remain incomplete and unreliable. The policy goal of the Choice Act and the Mission Act was to reduce wait times for veterans and increase access. Therefore, the lack of accurate information on wait times at VA hospitals. Also, with community care providers should call all of us to question whether the policy to send more veterans to community care providers is sound or if it's even working. Veterans have a right to make informed choices with where they are to receive their care. However, that choice depends on transparency and accurate information about wait times. This committee will not allow our veterans to be harmed by the same deceptive practices that led the Phoenix VA scandal. This situation brings to light the need for congressional action to address a severe problem affecting the veterans, the integrity of the VA. This uh, source was from the Veterans House uh, news press release uh, by, put out by Chairman Takano. Uh, anyway, thank you. Merlin Berg, producer, Veterans Benefits Blog.